Kung nahihirapan ka na mag-construct ng inyong sentence at hindi mo alam kung ano ba yung mga position, ito ang video na para sa iyo. Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Tuturo ko sa inyo kung paano pa kayo mag-construct ng inyong sentences with the a bit advanced compared to the last video na ibinigay ko sa inyo. Kung ready ka na, ay, uh, first you have to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell na sa ganon na lagi kayong update. So, the sentence structure A1 level, okay? The first structure natin ay ang subject, model verb, direct object, that if, and verb. So, marami na sa inyo ang nakakaalam ng modal verb, yung kanta ko, okay? So, click mo lang dito sa, dito sa taas, makikita mo yan um, or scan mo yung description, nandun yung mga uh, link na mas madali mo makikita yung mga videos ko, mga kanta, ang so. So, dito nga dahil nga A1, mag A2 ka na, ay modal verb for sure, alam na alam mo na. So, yung modal verb, ito, okay? So, ito yung mga volen, solen, uh, musen, uh, mersten, and so on. So, ich muss ins Krankenhaus mit meinem Mutter gehen. So, dahil nga may kulay-kulay na siya, hindi na siya masyado mahirap sa inyo kung i-identify kung bakit nagkaganon ang nagkaganon rin. So, muss is from the word musen. This is the modal verb. Okay? And ins Krankenhaus is the direct object Uh, of location, okay? So, in Skrankenhaus, from the word in the Skrankenhaus, okay? And meet my nimuta, normally, hindi naman siya kasama. Kahit sabihin mo na lang, ismus in Krankenhaus kihem. Kahit wala nang meet my nimuta sa uh, sentence mo, okay lang yan. Dati kaya nagkaroon ako dito ng asterisk dito sa taas. So, but the norm normal structure of that is is um, subject modal verb or direct object modal verb in skranken house mus is kihen pwede din basta wag na wag niyo kung kalilimutan yung kanta ko is um the modal verb is always at the second position and the if, if may kasama siya na infinitive verb you have to kick that at the end of the verb uh, of the sentence okay maliwanag tayo ito yung sinasabi ko dalawang sentence uh, verb niya is the musen or the uh, Uh, modal verb and the other one is the gehen so that is the infinitive verb you have to put uh, or you have to kick that at the end of the sentence so sie wollen die jacke mit der kreditkarte bezahlen so dalawa pa rin dito ang ating uh, verb so nor, uh, mad, uh, dapat kailangan ng modal verb nyo uh, ay nasa second position conjugated siya dapat okay so and then the uh, The uh, verb na ikikik nyo sa dulo, if you're gonna have kick that at the end of the sentence, you don't need to um, conjugate that unless it is a uh, past tense or perfect tense, okay? So, that's the first structure. And next is the separable verb. So, ito yung mga, mga may, may prefix or yung mga nahahati na mga words, okay? So, they have the root word or the infinitive verb, for example, kaufen, and yung prefix is the ein in the front. So, ein kaufen is another word uh, um, aside from the kaufen itself. Okay? So, in here, you always have to uh, remember that you always put the prefix to the end of the sentence. So, if you are using for the perfect tense, you are not following, you must not follow this structure dahil this is only applicable for the present tense. So, like for example here, is bringe ein vasa mit. So, um, this is uh, normally from the word mit, bringen, or to bring along. Okay? So, um, uh, we have to uh, put the prefix at the end because this is a present tense. Ito ay present tense. Hindi ako gumagamit pa ng perfect tense in this structure. Because in the, uh, if you're going to put that or you're going to use the perfect tense, this structure cannot be uh, used. So, uh, or another example, is zirau roimen das zima auf okay so uh, from the word auf roimen is to tidy up okay um, and that means that the prefix must be at the end because i'm also using the perfect uh, the present tense another structure that i can give you is those uh, sentences or um, 
joining with uh, the aba und in order okay so aba means as uh, but in english und is end and order is or okay so if you are already, already at the middle or at the end of the uh, a1 course or level you probably know how to use this and you probably know what are the meaning of this so they are connecting two sentences in one okay so main clause and main clause and then the end the two sentences okay so for example um, um the, the structure that i can give you is you must follow this, this if you use that it must be followed by a subject for example each habit the banana gigesen that is the first sentence of your paragraph okay aba so they connect okay ich habe noch hunger okay so that means these two set this this is a already a complete sentence and the other one is also complete sentence so ibig sabihin the aba or the in und ay nagko-connect sa kanila to make it like a whole sentence in two okay in one okay so here i told you followed by the subject so aba i use the aba so i must use this subject here not um aba habe ish no huma so the proper uh, proper uh, usage of this is it must be followed by the subject okay so another one is ich trage die tasche und mein bruder trägt den bell trägt den ball okay so ich trage ich trage die tasche is already a nice sentence okay but i want to connect that uh, with the other sentence so make it a paragraph so i use the und and then followed by a subject my buddha is the subject of the another sentence so i hope you get that the track then but so that's it another set a structure that i can give you is using the perfect tense so haben and sign must always in the second position mamimili lang kayo haben or sign use the correct um uh, ha, um Use the correct uh, verb para doon sa corresponding verb, infinitive verb na gagamitin nyo. So, infinitive verb always at the end of the sentence. So, iba yun kanina. Ang uh, infinitive verb natin ay uh, kailangan uh, ito ay conjugated into perfect tense. Okay? Alam nyo na yan kung ano yun. So, for example here, is habe den zaf getrunken. So, i here is the haben or sign. And then the getrunken is that is the infinitive verb that is uh, conjugated into the perfect tense. Okay, the getrunken, gelesen, gekauft, geschrieben, geblieben. So yun yung mga yun. Ang huhulaan mo na lang or you, uh, you have to know kung haben ba or sign ang gagamitin nyo. So comment kayo kung gusto nyo malaman or kung gusto nyo gawan ko ng uh, video yun kung papaano ba gamitin ang haben or sign. So comment nyo sa baba. Okay, then I will make a video of that. So, Sie sind nach Paris gefahren. So, magkaiba sila. Dito kanina is habe. And then this, the other one is sind ang ginamit ko. So, Sie sind nach Paris gefahren. Is, this is the habe and sign. Tama, nasa second position siya. And at the other side is the infinitive verb is ma, must be at the end. Okay, so uh, conjugated na siya, ge farin, from the word farin, ge farin, this is the uh, conjugated form of the perfect tense. Another structure, the number five structure that I want to share with you is asking questions. So it, it's, it's simple na talaga sa inyo kung nagsimula na kayo sa umpisa, ay, uh, alam niyo na kung paano sa magot, but then I still want to put that here kasi may mga tao pa na hindi talaga kaya pang mag-construct ng sentences or mag-ask uh, ng questions. Nalilito pa sila yung mga arrangement. So, napaka-simple. Verb plus subject and then so on, so on. Okay? Pagka, pagka may vivrage ka, yung vas, vo, van, ver, vo, varum. Yun? Vivrage first and then verb and then subject. Okay? Like for example here, wala tayong vivrage dito. It's only the verb and the subject ang susundin natin. Habin si einen urlau. Okay, ito yung structure na ginamit natin. Another one is may vifraga, v, heisen, si, heisen is the verb, and then si is the subject. So that's so simple, uh, siningit lang ko lang dito nang sa gano'n na sa mga hindi pa nakakalam ay maliwanagan na. 
Another is the, and the last one is the imperative. Okay? Uh, imperative is yung nagko-command ka. Kung sa expression, a uh, tile um, 3, or yung uh, bitte frag, or the uh, asking, uh, or commanding, or um, giving a command to a person. So that is imperative. For example, give me that glass, give me mine handy, um, give, please give me a, uh, a money. So, yun yung nagko-command ka, you're commanding a person to do something for you. That is the imperative. So, the um, structure of that is if you are using the formal form, okay, you have to follow the, uh, the verb and the subject, and so on and so on. Like, for example, here, um, formal form is geben z. Okay, mia bitte das salt. Okay, geben is the verb. And then the subject is the um, z. And then mia bitte, mia is to me. And then your accusative or your direct object. Another one, if you're going to use the informal form, you have to um, use the conjugated uh, do form. Okay, remove the st. And that is the uh, proper way of uh, commanding. Uh, 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 or using the imperative like for example come here instead of comes do here is come here okay comes do here come here yun ang magiging uh, conju uh, tamang um, structure ng imperative sentences so now that are the six structures that I can uh, share with you aside from the past um, video that I've made so here you can translate the sentences in German by yourself. So here's are the here are the uh, examples. So I sent you an email yesterday. I called the boss. I called my boss. The man bought the lady a flower. The uh, bring the book to me. So that is an imperative for sure. She has eaten the bread. Okay, past tense. Did you fly? to Paris, past tense. You can pause that and write that by yourself, scratch, okay? And, um, uh, check nyo na lang siya, e, pagtapos na kayo and i-play nyo na lang siya ulit. So, but I will give you the correct answer for that. So, meron kayong uh, uh, pang-assess or meron kayong pang-recheck sa mga ginawa nyo. The first one is, I sent you an email, is, is habi dia, eine E-Mail geschickt. Next one, okay, gestern habe ich meinen Chef angerufen. Okay, ibig sabihin niya, um, past tense siya kasi gestern, obviously. So, uh, he, this is also a perfect tense. This is meinen Chef is the direct object. Sino ang tinawagan ko who I called yesterday? It's my chef. So, that is the accusative form. Next one, the man bought the lady a flower. The man had their Frau eine Blume gekauft. Okay. So, the man is our subject. And then, hat und gekauft is again the perfect tense. And then, this is a dative form. Who received the flower? Or to whom the flower? Uh, to whom the flower is for their, ma, their Frau. That means that is the uh, feminine dative form. So, Eine Blumen is our direct object. Next, bring the book to me. Bring in Zimia das book. So, this is a um, formal form. Bring in Zimia das book. If you're going to put that or going to say that in a uh, informal, is bring, bring me a das book. Okay, so bring me a das book. She has eaten the bread. Sie hat das Brot gegessen. Also perfect. Sie, uh, sie hat das Brot gegessen. Gegessen is the plural form of uh, the perfect form of the correct of the uh, gegessen. Essen. Did you fly to Paris? Bist du nach Paris geflogen? This is a uh, informal form of the perfect tense. So, sin, it is a sign form. Yeah, I told you, you have to choose sign or haben if you're going to use the perfect tense. So, this is the um, perfect tense. So, the last one is, meine Freundin hat mich im Park gesehen, aber ich habe sie nicht gesehen. So, that means, uh, I'm connecting two sentences in one, okay? So, I use the but, aber, so this is the aber, okay? Meine Freundin hat mich 
impart gesehen. So, it's the plural for a, a perfect form. Okay? And aber, but, I connect with the aber. So, ich habe sie nicht gesehen. So, these are the additional uh, structure for making a sentence. And, uh, siguro ay naliwanagan na kayo at dumami na at naging advanced na ang inyong pag-construct ng sentences. So, um, I want to uh, tell you that this is an A1 to A2 structure. Okay? At um, that is like an introduction to the A2. At uh, kung kaya nyo na yan ay hindi na masyado mahirap yan para sa inyo makakagawa na kayo ng inyong sariling sentence, hindi lang pa isa-isa o padala-dalawa na mga words in a sentence. Okay? So, kung marami pa kayong mga comments and suggestions, click nyo lang or comment nyo lang siya sa baba. Okay? At nagpapasalamat ako sa inyo palagi sa support ninyo, sa patuloy nyo na pag-support sa akin, pag-message sa atin. At kung ikaw ay nahihirapan, okay? Kung nahihirapan ka sa iyong pag-review for your exam, I am open for a review. Okay? Click mo lang yung nasa baba, link sa baba. You can book a schedule with me. At pag-usapan natin yan, for sure makakapasa ka with my uh, help. Okay, so maraming maraming salamat mga kasisi and I hope to see you in our next video mga kasisi. Tschüss!